Hi guys, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is part number 25. We're in the burger shot again, and we are doing the second mission for OG Log. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that uh, one of my subscribers found me on one of Z Moon Child's videos, uh, what happens if you use a sea sparrow for the mission High Noon, and said, uh, why don't you do videos um, that that are like vehicle showcases uh, and how to get special vehicles rather than just San Andreas is getting too repetitive. Well, I'm sorry it seems too repetitive to you, buddy, but in case you didn't realize, I'm doing a whole LP of 130 parts of GTA San Andreas. If you want me to do different videos, sure, but I have no vehicles currently to show off on of how to get. Like, if you want me to return to Vice City and do some more rampages, sure, I'll do that. You want me to do a San Andreas rampage, please? Sure, I'll, I'll do that. Whatever you guys want, but like... But, like, I can't just, you know, pull videos, like, vehicle showcases out of my ass, you know? <laughs> like, it takes time and planning to do stuff like that. But, uh, but I'm sorry. I, I, try to, I try to satisfy you guys as much as possible. But, you know, I can't satisfy every single viewer of mine. But, anyways, here we go for next OG Loke mission. And this is everybody's favorite cutscene of OG Loke, Mad Dog's Rhymes. This is everybody's favorite. It's my favorite too. And here's random music in the background. It's not like a song or anything. Hey, 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 it's OG Low, homie, and I'm gonna kick a little something like this. Hey, yo, when I come through up in the place, you don't want me to come with a gun in your face. I spit it hotter than anybody in the yo, world could do. That it's shit like I sucks. Damn. It does suck, but it's better than today's Damn. shit. My shit was <laughs> whack. Damn, sitting with the fucking mop. Hey, what's happening, Low? Or the hey, broom, Carl, whatever. What up, man? Hey, dude, you ever thought about getting a writer to help you out with this shit? Yeah, I did. But who, homie? Who? Shit. I ain't in the rap game. You know, that ain't my thing. But, um, we have to think about something. Man. How about if I get somebody to write something for me, only they didn't know about it? What? <laughs> I think I just might have found a ghostwriter. I become the reciter, all nighter, all writer. <laughs> Mad Dog's rhyme book from his home in the hills. Mad Dog's rhyme book? Man, you said you helped, Carl. Come on, man. I'm hot like fire, all nighter, hey, all writer. Hey, hey, hey. I'll do I anything, I homie. I swear that. Okay? Stupid idiot wearing a burger. I'm wearing a burger hat. So, especially if people have never played this game before, um, this is a uh, one overlooked mission because it's one of the few, thank god my bike's still here, it's one of the few missions in the game that, uh, that actually matter so much, uh, towards the end of the game. Like, it, like, it's a whole mansion that you get to enter, and of course, why would they have a whole mansion just for one mission, if you know what I mean? You, you guys will see it while I'm there, but basically, it's fuck, fuck, fuck. Thank God I slowed myself down, but basically it's a, it's a whole mansion in the, the uh, Vinewood Hills or Hollywood Hills that we're going to here, Matt, because, uh, you know, rappers have, tend to have, like, expensive, uh, expensive mansions like this when we're going up into the Vinewood Hills or Hollywood Hills here, so... Uh, it, it's kind of funny, you know, the, the Vinewood sign is not actually in the district Vinewood, it's in uh, the district Mulholland, and that's where we're going right now, because this is where his mansion was, I wasn't looking. Well, I was, I was looking at the screen, I just wasn't paying attention. I love the rainy night. Fun fact, I ha I ha the first time I actually heard this song was uh, on some guy's YouTube video. Um, of when he put this on MP3 player, there's the classic iconic Vinewood sign, and it's in Mul the district Mulholland, not Vinewood. It's close to Vinewood, but not exactly in Vinewood. You know, Vinewood has the same studios, which makes sense to real life. That's where all the actors go. But we're here in Mulholland, the, the big hill uh, areas of the city. There's also Las Colinas, but that's more for the gangs. Mulholland and Richmond are more towards, you know, are more for the rich people, uh, and including Mad Dog. Uh, as he claims later in the game, this is like a multi-million dollar mansion. The main door is around the back of the mansion. So, this mission matters way later in the game, and I don't want to say why, but basically, I do want to say that, that you saw CJ's expression on how, after OG Loke told him Mad Dog's rhyme book, get it from his home in the hills. CJ would shock 
is like Mad Dog's rhyme book, so you can tell that he doesn't want to do this at all, because Mad Dog's potentially one of his favorite rappers of all time, but he's, and even though OG Loke sucks, he, he's still, like, Mad Dog's crib is where we're entering. Mad Dog's crib usually has two doors, but this is the only door that we're able to enter at the time, so the Mad Dog is in his recording studio, which will play a big role later in the game. Now, I'll tell you guys again why um, this mansion plays a bigger role later in the game. Now, now, Mad Dog, Mad Dog's rhymes, you know, Mad Dog is a rap, rapper, you know, the most famous rapper in Los Santos right now. Um, for the, so the first card cannot kill you, so they force you to use stealth in this mission. So if you alert, so you see, they give you no guns. Like, like I swear, I'm pressing L2 right now to change my, to change my weapons, L2 and R2. You guys can hear the buttons. I'm literally pressing them. I can't, I can't switch. So they force you to use a knife and stealth for this mission, which means they take away all your guns temporarily, which means that you have to s sneak behind guards in this mission and stealth. It's basically introducing you to stealth now. Now, when CJ's in this position, when he holds the knife uh, higher, like near his head, that's when you can do the stealth kill. But make sure you have the knife equipped to do it. So all these guards have silenced pistols. So that's how you do a stealth kill. It's the only game you can only do it in this game. The other games don't have stealthy like this. Like. In Vice City, you can crouch, but you can't move while crouching, which sucks, but... Anyways, I was gonna... Mad Dog is a rapper that actually does make an appearance in this game, but it's way later in the game. Like I said, all this comes back later in the game, which, uh... You know, once you get out of Los Santos, you, you think that you're done with OG Loke and that, uh... And that all everything you did doesn't really matter, but that's not the case here. That's not the case for, the, for a mission like this. Now, when you're in a shadow... It, it'll it'll let you know that you're in hiding so time to kill this fuck hold on hold on now for some reason in mad dog's mansion you'll hear oh, breathing I didn't even I didn't even kill him I didn't even do the animation but that that was weird okay so I want to look for that gym though and you guys will see what I'm talking about guard is coming first I gotta do this fuck nice so wait our uh, represent so that's when they introduce the shadow now shadows aren't really everywhere in the city they only you can they're only really in this mansion now the when you're doing stealthy missions like this there are there is another stealth mission in the game the guard uh, the guards direction will actually show like that will actually show like a pointer that shows which way he's uh, facing but other missions where you just have to kill guards like normally they just show like red dots so I think there's another guard here, but I did want to show off something else. All right, so that's a hidden area. Okay, uh, let's sneak. Now I think it's yeah, it's over here. Now there's actual there's actual gym over here. Now there's a bicycle. You got boxing bags. You got a basketball court here, which the basketball's not here right now. There's weights and. Uh, like, if I press triangle, it says you look a bit busy, why don't you come back later? So this is why I've been saying that uh, Mad Dog's uh, mansion... Uh, that This is why I knew that you would be coming back here later in the game. Like, I figured it out myself that you would be coming back here later in the game. Because, like, why the hell would they have a gym and a... Uh, uh, video games in this mansion if you wouldn't if you if this would be the only time that you would be coming in here and you can't even use them anyway yeah it's just a funny thing they threw in which i gotta give them credit for that so if, as long as you don't uh, stand up the guard oh, behind the bar will not see you and neither would this guy, guy distracted playing video games will but yeah you can you can play video games in this mansion as well which made me figure out that you would be coming here later in the game because why would they only have you do one mission and not be able to use them like I said so so take advantage of the armor there now you want to you want to go in this room do not do not cut do not use the hall here make sure to go in the room with the armor because there's a guard facing this way and you'll be screwed if he shoots you and all so you want to you want to uh, be careful and make sure to take that turn so here we are we got the rhyme book and we just gotta wait for a guard to, it's safe to use your weapons now, but it's less risky to uh, use stealth. So take advantage of the armor here. There should be a guard coming with a silenced pistol. Yeah, they used, they let us know about the silenced pistol right now and fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, asshole, then fight. 
Coming through. All right, yeah, it takes a while for CJ to stab him on, actually stab him on the ground. But we got a silenced pistol, but that's unfortunate. So we got our weapons back, but I'm going to use the silenced pistol. I'm not going to use anything else. Expect, uh, the only reason I'm going to use the silenced pistol, I, I always do this, but I always uh, kill enemies with the guns that are using. That way I can get more ammo and not waste ammo at the same time, if you get me. I'll stealth kill this guy. No need to waste ammo. Okay, so yeah, the guard was never there. As long as this guy doesn't see me, I should be good. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my time with that. Yeah, this way. Yeah, there's more to Mad Dog's mansion as we'll we'll, we'll see later in the game. Okay. Uh, that was a wasted shot there, but whatever. Yeah, the pistol unfortunately is an old one-handed -hand weapon. You have to use both hands for it, and it shoots very slowly, slower than the normal pistol, nine millimeter. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That it's it's an easy mission when you know what you're doing. So, so we will be coming back here later. Like I said, now the only vehicle that's available to take is this uh, mountain bike here, which. Uh, it's not placed in a very safe spot because like every time you get on a bicycle it like rolls forward before you can actually control it and yeah, there's usually random cars here but not now so I, I'm okay with using the bicycle because I can increase my cycling skill which like I said uh, in the courier part I need but I lose control when going down hills like that I think there's a police bribe here now I could be wrong Ooh. but But yeah, this mission and the next mission as well, more it, more so this mission because you're actually stealing the rapper's rhyme book. But uh, this mission and the next mission is uh, are important and co come back to CJ later in the game as a consequence per se. I, I don't want to give out spoilers, but like, I have to give out a spoiler, like, but I have to... I didn't see that car. That car was too low. And there's a royal police. Yeah, if you're too far up in the hills, the countryside police will come. But, um, yeah, this is CJ when he's, like, out of, uh, stamina, even though I got infinite ammo, or uh, ammo, infinite sprint, so he shouldn't be running out. Mad Dog's Meme Book. Yeah, that's a series of YouTube poops on, uh, YouTube. Mad Maybe Dog's Meme it. Book. But yeah, what a boring, silent part this was, but, you know, it's fine. It's the, it's the mission, Mad Dog's Rhymes. And I haven't increased my cycling skill at all, but uh, that should change. And here we are. We did it. Hey, Loke, I got what you wanted. Holmes, you ice cold, dude. Hey, I'll catch you later. Peace, homie. Peace, homie. Mission pass, respect. And I'm going to wait a little while. I'm actually going to cut because I don't know if this uh, stealth can also be used outside of missions. You can sneak up behind people and perform stealth kills or... Use stealth to evade the police and enemy gangs like this, I guess. Yep. So I'm gonna cut it because I, I don't I don't want the video to cut right in the middle of this phone call here. So hold on. I didn't know if the video was gonna cut or not, but uh, here we go. What's happening? Don't try hit me up with that ghetto babble boy. Officer Tim Penny, how you get my number? Ways and means, you piece of shit. You been trying to avoid me? No, sir. I've just been busy, that's all. You're not busy unless you're doing something for us, you understand? Yeah. Loud and clear. Nice to hear it, Carl. Call in to the donut place in the middle of March. We need to talk. Alright, so new mission strand just opened up. We got, uh, uh, Tenpenny on the map now, which that's, uh, cr that's Crash, you know, uh, on the map, yeah, crash. It's but it's a ten penny mission at the donut place in market. So we still got OG local missions to do. So we're obviously going to continue with those, but uh, we will be doing ten pennies missions later. So this mission like introduces us to stealth per se. Now the stealth isn't that important. It, it's it's cool to use, but it's not like it plays a big role. Like unless unless it it would only play a big role if like you want to. If there's missions where you do, can't alert, I, I, I'm pretty sure if you alert the guards, you fail the mission because you're obviously going to die if uh, they keep shooting at you, you know. Uh, of course, you're forced to use stealth in this mission because they take away your guns, but 
Um, yeah, so this mission was uh, introduced, uh, just introduces the idea of stealth, which a silenced pistol, me using a silenced pistol means that uh, p nearby people won't hear you, but uh, the knife is like a completely stealthy melee Get weapon. And I also wanted to talk about the uh, the phone call that we just uh, got, so I don't get CJ surprised at all. You know, he's like, Officer Tim Penny, how'd you get my number? But why is he surprised when, after tagging up turf, Officer Hernandez calls him? And, like, wouldn't, and he didn't even know Officer Hernandez at the time, so, like, wouldn't he be more curious if, uh, how Hernandez got his number? Uh, like, wouldn't he be curious how some random police officer that he doesn't know got his number rather than being curious about how Tenpenny got his number? Like, I don't get his surprise at all, because, like, because, like, he's, like, he asks Tenpenny, how'd you get my number? But what he should really be asking is, uh, well, how did Hernandez get his number in the first place, you know? Like, and because Tenpenny leads a crash, you know, he should be wondering how Hernandez got his number, and the way Hernandez got his number is through Tenpenny, obviously, so I don't get his curiosity at, uh, curiosity at all, but otherwise I love that, I like that phone call, and I don't know why, but it used to be hard for me to identify it being Tenpenny on the phone all the time, I don't know why, but uh, it's just the way it was, but um, that was Mad Dog's Rhymes, and the next part we'd be doing next OG Loke mission. I uh, will see you guys later, bye-bye.